Okay. Listen, I know I'm not part of Jerry Diaz's uniform union, but it'd be nice if uh, you gentlemen and lady would be uh, give some uh, solidarity. Can I not talk to these uh, members of the press? Do, do we have freedom of press here? Do we or not? David Menzies for the Rebel News here in Whitby, Ontario. Well, folks, I'm outside the Ability Centre. This is the venue for a press conference uh, that's going to take place, uh, headed up by the Conservative Party leader, Andrew Scheer. I have no idea what he's going to announce as part of uh, his party's platform. Hopefully it's going to be a big announcement. It is exactly three weeks before the federal election on October 21st. And um, hey, let's put it this way. Uh, if the polls are correct, this is a neck and neck horse race. Clearly Andrew Scheer has to break through. He has to get some good vibrations going. So I'm going to go into the uh, press conference and find out what the leader has to say today. As this is not a public event and you are not accredited media, so we're going to ask you to leave this. How do you get to be accredited media? Uh, you need to be accredited by the campaign. You are not accredited media, so we're going to ask you to leave, please. And why is that? Uh, you are not accredited media. This is a private event. We are going to ask you to leave, please. Well, you keep saying that, but why am no, I I'm not, not doing an interview right here right now. You can get in touch with our press office. Well, that's office. what I was invited for. You, so you are like... actually not invited. You are not accredited okay, media. Then. We're going to ask you to leave. You can get in touch with the press office and uh, get learn more about our Is this the Andrew Shear event or the Justin Trudeau event? Uh, Mr. Menzies, I'm going to ask yes. you to leave, please. You're not accredited. Yeah. What is he announcing that you don't want? Who are you, by the way? I'm uh, with the campaign. You're welcome to step outside here. Mr. I'll stay here. I'm, I'm okay. with the RCMP. It's a private event. Please walk. Sir, please walk. It's a private Excuse event. Excuse me. Don't, a... don't shove me, all right? I'm not shoving you. I'm okay. asking you to I'm leave. I'm asking you how you get to start walking. Okay. Well, yeah. that's the same problem I have. It was a public event, and they're saying no. Oh, they won't allow you in here? No. So. And um, why is that? Well, because I want to ask some questions from Andrew Shear, and they keep on saying, no, you can come. Mm. Okay. Completely wrong. Completely wrong. And this is a public event. It should be a public event. I see on the TV all the time people saying they can set up and ask questions. Mm. And here they're saying, I can't even enter the damn thing. Sir, sir, sir. Let's just cooperate. I thought you were calling the police. We are the police. We'll meet them outside. Okay. Yeah. All right. Then. You were asked nicely to so leave. So this is, this is free speech in Canada right now. But you're not right? welcome no. in this private How about my brothers in the media? Would you, are you going to stand up for this? Or uh, is there going to be some uh, solidarity? Yeah, some free time. So huh? The owner really doesn't want him around. Is this, I, I didn't know this was a Trudeau precedent. I thought it was a conservative precedent. Okay. Sir, you're, you're is there anyone going to be in solidarity with me? Any of you? When I have the room police come in. Okay. No? Okay. Just wait for the room police to come in. Let's close it up. All right. You know, I hope whatever Mr. Shear's announcement is, it isn't going to get eclipsed by the sidebar story of all the media covering this uh, physical removal of a journalist. I really hope so. Sorry. Hi, can we have a chat? Pardon me? Can I talk to you, please? Uh, absolutely. I'm right here, sir. But I want to remain here because I'm going to try to ask Mr. Shear directly why, you know, the muscle is uh, strong-arming us out of a, a, a press event. Okay. Can we maybe just have a, a little... I'll, I'll stay right here because okay. I don't want to miss him. So, um, this is a private event. Okay. It's been hosted here at the Ability Center. Okay. And um, the building is ours and so uh, if you're not a member I have to respect the ask. But I am a member of the media, sir. That, no, sorry, a member of the Ability Center. Oh, okay. Well, I see dozens of media members right behind the, yes, the glass. Yes, they are there by invitation. It's their okay. event. They get to choose who uh, is present there. <laughs> this is the Ability Center and for security reasons I have to ask the respect. Security, security reasons? Yes, you don't have I am a, a security threat? You are not a security threat that I'm aware of. <laughs> okay. We have strict protocols that this uh, premises is um, for members only or invited guests uh, okay. when we host an event. So uh, we're not even hosting, actually, we are renting the space. Well, there's only, you got one option. There are two options. You, can, you uh, leave by yourself or we'll have to call the Durham police to ask you to ask our help. All right. Well, if you feel you want to do that, sir, you know, and somehow I, I'm, I'm a criminal, somehow I'm a security threat that you would call the real police. 
to throw me out? I mean, why is that? And I'm sorry, who, who are you in? I, I'm the security lead for the conservatives. Okay, then. And you're not welcome to the event here. And, uh, Can I ask you why, sir? No, I have. I cannot indulge or get into anything any further than what I just told you. You're just not okay. welcome to the event. Do you know what the reason is? No, I have no idea. Okay, then. So, uh, basically, I, that's... Sir, that's you're going to have to leave from this yeah, premises, the place yeah. and now you're going to have uh, to leave. Well, you know, it's... Sir! Okay. Sir. Sir. So, I had requested that you leave. You you brought me right to the room, sir. I did. Yes. Because I thought you were an invited guest. Okay. So well, I am a I, member of the media. I understand. But yeah. I have to, again, please respectfully ask that you leave, because if you don't, these people will have to escort you from our building. You know, I don't know if I'm in Canada right now, or North Korea, okay. you know, and it's I've no been, offense I've to you officers here, I've been here, but I mean, you, you have, I, I agree, but, I, but you won't answer my, my question, yeah. you, leave you know, no choice. you know, my, my grandfather fought five years in the Second World War to okay. preserve our freedoms, man. Can you just come with us? All right, then. Okay. If I don't, you're going to arrest me? Is that how well, it works? I can charge you. So. All right, then. Well, that sure didn't go as planned. In fact, I'm in a state of shock, folks. Andrew Shear and his conservative lackeys actually called the police on me and had me removed from a public venue. And as you can see in the back, uh, there is the Team Shear big blue bus. Uh, I'm not allowed to even go in the parking lot. I'll be charged with trespass. That's what the, the police had told me. So I'm on a public sidewalk about 120 meters away from the bus. I'm going to see if I can shout out some questions to Andrew Shear, see if he'll have the intestinal fortitude to answer them. Uh, some of the questions I think should be, um, when did he start taking uh, censorship lessons from Justin Trudeau? And why is it that the, the likes of the Toronto Star, the Globe and Mail, the CBC, the so-called mean girls of the media party, they're welcome to these events uh, with a red carpet, but a conservative leading journalist has the police frog march him out? And does he indeed believe in freedom of speech, and freedom of the press, and freedom of expression? He says he does, but I would say that his actions indicate otherwise. In any event, I'm going to attempt to um, ask those questions to Mr. Shear before he leaves Whitby. And um, assuming I don't get arrested, let's see what happens. Yeah, huh? sir, move. I'm just, I'm just, move. Move. I am, let's I'm just move, trying sir. to get a, uh, uh, move, sir. an answer. Move, excuse sir. me. Move, excuse sir. me. Okay. Listen, I know I'm not part of Jerry Diaz's uniform union, but it'd be nice if uh, you gentlemen, lady, would be uh, give some uh, solidarity. Can I not talk to these uh, members of the press? Do, do we have freedom of press here? Do we or not? So uh, these are your tax dollars, uh, hard at work, folks. Um, the RCMP being used to um, shut down uh, the practice of journalism, at least to those journalists uh, who have the temerity to ask impolite questions. So I guess the uh, thought police, if you will, has been called in. Again, I'm not, I'm not going to criticize the uh, Durham Regional Police here. They're just acting on, um, I presume, 911 calls from the Conservative Party. So. Um, they're mulling it over, I guess, right now to find out um, what they're going to charge me with. I overheard uh, obstruction of justice. Gee, that that, that kind of sounds SNC Lavalin like, doesn't it, folks? And um, I'll continue uh, dispatching here at the Ability Center in Whitby, where I am only trying to do my job, which is practicing journalism. Hey folks, if you like what you saw, please press like and subscribe and never miss another Rebel video.